see Amanda Kessel there, who had a 4-point night against Switzerland in a 9-0 win by the U.S. Women's Olympic team. Uh, it was quite the victory and uh, quite a busy day here in Sochi, as we not only had the women's game, we also had the arrival of the men's Olympic team. Uh, but let's start with the women's, and let's bring in Chris Peters of UnitedStatesOfHockey.com for his analysis. Chris? Hey, Cam and Harry, thanks a lot for having me on again. Really appreciate being with you, and certainly a, a huge win for the women again. Uh, certainly the performance that we were expecting out of them with uh, the way that they dominated Switzerland. Uh, biggest thing for me coming out of that game that, that USA showed was the, the ability to get scoring from all their lines. They had the, the balanced scoring attack, certainly uh, the, the line of Kendall Coyne with Amanda Kessel and, and Brianna Decker really came through in a big way with five goals. And uh, you know, just seeing the skill level of that line is certainly going to be tough for other teams to compete against. And then, you know, you saw uh, Monique Lamaru getting a pair of goals with her sister assisting on both of them. And, and, you know, you love to see when they're going at their top game. And it seems like they've reached that level. So the U.S. definitely looked uh, more in control, more comfortable in that game. Got some of those jitters out against Finland and, and were able to pull out the win there. This time, really just uh, dominant from start to finish. So something that you really like to see. And then, you know, that's good momentum heading into the game against Canada when I think the U.S. women will really want to uh, send a message and set the tone for the rest of the tournament with, uh, with that game. So uh, a, certainly a, a great way to go into that game with a big 9 nothing win over Switzerland. Just great team effort by everyone, like you said. Um, we've got scoring from, I think, seven different people. I think that just shows the depth of our team and that's really what's going to win games. You can't just have one line producing. Yeah, I think we just knocked the wind out of their sails after that. Um, one, two, three, and it's kind of hard to get going after that. Our forwards did a great job today of just getting the pucks to the net, uh, scoring goal after goal. So it was a great confidence, uh, confidence type of game for our team. And now for your three stars of the game, we're going to go out to the Bolshoi Ice Dome where Harry Thompson is for the men's practice. Thanks, Cam. Um, I'm over here at the Bolshoi Ice Dome where the U.S. men's team has arrived today and recently got off the ice after their first practice. Skated for about an hour and uh, great practice, very spirited. Uh, I think Coach Dan Bilesma put in some, uh, a couple of systems and some things that he really wants to, uh, the team to, to follow moving ahead toward their first game on Thursday against Slovakia. Earlier today at the Scheiba Arena, the U.S. women's team won their second game of the tournament, a 9 to nothing domination over Team Switzerland. My three stars of the game, my number one star was Kendall Coyne, who had two goals and two assists, playing on a line with Brianna Decker and Amanda, Amanda Kessel. It's kind of cheating, but my number two star are the Lamaru sisters. They, uh, they were all over the ice today, and they were, they were just fantastic. Uh, they set the tone midway through the first period with uh, a beautiful pass uh, from Jocelyn to Monique and then she held on to the puck long enough to, to make uh, Shelling commit and slipped it through the legs uh, for a beautiful goal. They also teamed up on another goal uh, later in the game and uh, my number three star of the game was Annie Schlepper who was a plus four on the defense and uh, peppered Shelling with five shots from the point and just played an overall solid game. Uh, honorable mention, I, I'll just mention uh, Molly Schaus, who uh, only turned aside eight, uh, 10 saves, none of them very, very challenging, but still, she did, she did get her first uh, Olympic shutout, so got to give her kudos for that. Well, that's all I have for me at uh, Bolshoi Ice Dome. Uh, back to you, Cam. Well, thanks, Harry. Well, that's going to be it here from Sochi. We had a busy day. We have more busy days ahead. But Team USA women with a big victory, the men arrived, and it's only just begun. Until next time, remember to tweet to us at USAH Post Game and go to olympics.usahockey.com for features and complete coverage. Thanks.